What's going on there, folks? Good evening. It is the Earthmaster back here on this, uh, what is it, Friday night, February 24th, 2023. It's about 9 p.m. here along the West Coast. 38 degrees. It's been that temperature all day here in Northern California. A little bit of sprinkles around the area right now. Latest earthquake shows a, um, looks like some movement over into the Turkey area and also a 1.4 coming in to the, uh, northern california area let's go ahead and check out the latest movement here across the map uh, alaska still seeing quite a bit of activity up here um, specifically right around the volcanoes uh, this activity occurring right outside of the trident volcano around the Mar uh, mount martin area it looks like a pretty good cluster of movement uh, it's been like that yesterday and also today uh, quite a few uh, smaller microquakes, very shallow earthquake activity. Uh, so, but overall, uh, this is uh, definitely a, a sign of some regional stress out here along the subduction zone. Uh, that includes obviously here the Pacific Plate to the south and uh, the North American Plate uh, where Alaska sits on. Definitely pretty active. A little cluster, independent cluster over here as well. Looks like they did have a 4.6 earlier today followed up by a couple twos. But again, this whole area along the Aleutian Trench, very active over the last 24 hours. We'll watch out for some uh, further movement, possibly. Uh, there was a 4.4 also, um, looks like early this morning, a little bit further west here along the Aleutian Trench subduction zone area. All right, let's go ahead and check out the Pacific Northwest. Um, generally minor activity, only a couple small microquakes being listed up here today. Got one earthquake. Ooh, look at that. Just just shy of the Cascadia mega thrust area. This is kind of in the Gorda plate, about 14 kilometers deep. But uh, every time I see some activity very close to the subduction zone, I get a little nervous because uh, it's been a while since we've seen a, uh, a mega quake here on this subduction zone called the uh, Cascadia. Uh, but this one coming in this afternoon, a 2.5. 14 kilometers deep on that note let me check here with the trimmer map here tonight and see what we got i'm kind of curious about that um looks like uh well that definitely could explain some of the activity we're seeing out there got about 212 epicenters most of that positioned down here on the southern end of the cascadia subduction zone remember the trimmer activity down dip downstream here adds further strain and stress uh, not only at the uh, the tension level, the the, uh, uh, the subduction region where it builds up most of the stress, uh, but also in the regional areas nearby. So that explains the activity that we're seeing here. Um, just shy again of the Cascadia. All right, Northern California, very spotty activity across the bay. Not seeing anything drastic out here in Southern California either. A little bit of spotty movement up through Utah. Rest of the country looks fairly quiet. Uh, nothing really showing up here across the USGS map. Uh, was getting some earthquake uh, notifications here about some activity off the coast of Mexico. Looks like we did have a 4.3 and a couple other fours down the mix here uh, off the coast of El Salvador, Costa Rica area as well. Seeing some uh, fours. Not really uh, too much showing up here on the USGS map, but uh, they're there uh, according to the EMSC model here on the globe. South America region, seen um, looks like a little bit of movement up north here along the Peru Chile Trench. Uh, mostly small microquakes being reported there uh, throughout the afternoon and evening time period. But look at all that activity up north in Alaska. That's a that's a bunch. Um, Hawaii, mostly ones, twos, and threes. Don't see any major movement over here across the Big Island. All taking place here. It looks like around the Pahala area, and a little bit of separate swarming here around the Kilo Kilauea Volcano, excuse me. Uh, this activity occurring down there, about eight kilometers below the surface, so might want to watch for a recharge or an increasing um, possibility possibility of uh, you know uptick in volcano activity there at Kilauea. Around the Japan area, Kuro Kamachaka Trench still pretty quiet. One earthquake here off the coast of Japan. Let's see, yeah, just off the coast here. Tokyo to the north, this earthquake occurring 70 kilometers deep, a 4.6 earlier this evening. 
Uh, also some activity down south here along the Mariana Trench from this morning. Uh, looking across the rest of the region here, a little spotty once we get south here. I uh, did have one earthquake around the Kermadec Islands, a 4.8, 10 kilometers deep. And the EMSC model, goodness, not showing a whole lot of movement here across the area of the Tonga, Kermadec Trench, and the uh, uh, New Zealand area. All looks pretty quiet for now down there. Hopefully I didn't jinx it. Better knock on some wood. Uh, getting a little bit of clustering around the Java Trench here, 4.9 and a couple of threes in that area. Let's see what we got across the region. 4.3 up north here. Uh, let's see exactly where that's at. Uh, Tahikistan, of course, that area did see um, an upper six here. I believe it was an upper six just a uh, couple days ago. I don't know. I'm, I'm working on only about two hours of sleep. And uh kind of feel like I'm getting a cold going on. Of course, that's my fault for standing out in the freezing rain and some snow last night here on the home front yeah that's 6.8 coming in just a couple days ago there aftershock activity will continue in that region for a little while uh, but we did have a noticeable uptick in earthquake activity across turkey today quite a few fours uh, according to the usgs but also here on the emsc model uh, showing quite a few threes and twos in that area uh, a little bit of adjustment taking place here uh, let's see where this 2.0 is specifically. Looks like the area of northern Italy, 10 kilometers deep. Definitely not a big earthquake being reported there uh, by the folks there in Italy. Uh, let's see what else we have here across the region. Mediterranean Sea, pretty quiet uh, according to the USGS. And only looks like there was a 2.9 here earlier around the Mediterranean Sea. Uh, a couple of smaller quakes here off the coast of Morocco. The Atlantic Ocean looks fairly calm for now. All right, Yellowstone National Park. I just want to get that out of the way, see if we got any earthquake activity occurring up there. And uh, things look rather calm up there as well in Wyoming. One little earthquake earlier this evening, it looks like, but that is about it. Uh, space weather activity, folks. Just going to make this a quick update here tonight. Um, probably going to call it a very... Look at the proton event coming in right here. Let's see. Yeah, this kind of looks like a, a, some type of proton event coming in. We normally see this at the extreme latitudes up here north and south. Uh, flaring would be a little bit different, so... Uh, not for sure exactly what's going on, but uh, definitely looks like some type of proton event kicking up. And uh, there was only a 1% chance of that. Uh, let's see, are these guys covering it? Nope, they're covering that massive filament eruption that popped off earlier near uh, Sunspot 3229 up here. That was a beautiful, absolutely beautiful and stunning eruption i'm sure you guys seen my update earlier i'm not going to watch that on on his channel but uh he's got a picture of it well maybe not i wonder if i still have it up here there it is <laughs> this was actually the thumbnail that i used for my uh, earlier update beautiful absolutely stunning flare up as well had a long duration m flare along with this uh, massive prominence eruption right next to the sunspot region, uh, 3229, pretty impressive. Since then, uh, looks like things have mellowed out. Um, there's that long duration M flare with the filament eruption. Looks like we had an upper C flare just in the last hour. It appears as though, according to these folks, the um, massive um, plasma and CME that was produced from this uh, CM from the uh, <laughs> Goodness, from the filament eruption earlier, it's going to be uh, directed away from Earth. Looks like the latest video here, courtesy of the uh, Lasco, shows an energetic partial halo coronal mass ejection leaving the sun and is directed for the most part to the north and away from our planet. Unfortunately, goodness, uh, looks like only the southern edge of the plasma cloud will pass Earth by February 27th and deliver a glancing blow to the uh, ge geomagnetic field that thing was earth directed we'd be looking at uh ooh 
at least probably a G3 class storm. Right now, we're not looking at anything. Uh, very green across the board. That means not a whole lot of greenery up into the uh, Aurora skies. Canada, maybe a small percentage up here. A little unstable conditions prevailing, uh, but doesn't look like much at all. Um, a look here at the sunspot areas. Uh, let's see what we got here. A couple of these have grown since even since this morning's update. Uh, we got to watch this one here pretty closely. It's getting uh, it's getting big, and there's a lot of intermixing here of those colors, indicating some complex magnetic fields. Also down here, the sunspot uh, pose uh, at least a good chance for some uh, further M flare activity. 99% chance for a C flare, M flare at 55, and X flare at 10%. It looks like proton event down to one, but uh, we'll probably hear about something about this event uh, soon, I'm sure. Um, chrono hole. We do have chrono hole number 79 that has been facing us. Uh, it's still kind of facing us. It will be uh, rotating off here towards the western limb of the sun over the next couple days. But this is kind of a giant opening here in the sun. Shooting out some high speed solar wind and charged particles. Uh, that will, with that position on the sun, that will enhance it, the uh, three day. Uh, not for sure exactly when, but we should see this change here uh, in the next couple days or so. Uh, so look for that, the uh, Aurora Sky Watchers. Alrighty, I'm going to jump off here, folks, and um, call it a night, um, I think. I've been operate, Like I said, I've been operating on uh, just only a couple hours of sleep. I know that's no fault of my own. Uh, I was out live streaming out in the field here. Um, a little bit of snow off and on last night here in Northern California where I live. Uh, areas around Redding and Red Bluff and even Corning got a bunch of snow up there. But we, down here around the Chico area, we just had a persistent south wind, which kept it kind of warmer. And um, got a lot of rainfall. Um, here at my place got uh, oh, about an inch and three quarters. So much needed rainfall coming out here to the west coast we got more storms coming in we'll cover that uh, a little bit later tomorrow sometime Till then enjoy your night stay safe out there a lot of crazy people and a lot of crazy stuff going on out there in the world right now so stay safe be prepared and uh, make sure you guys have a plan we'll catch you guys a little bit later